Hey everyone, it's Diane here from Deku Easy. Welcome back to my new video. Today I'm participating in the challenge from Secondhand Tracy Ann. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a tour of my Christmas kitchen. First, I have to apologize, I don't own a large kitchen. And I think, yeah, this is probably the smallest kitchen I've ever seen in a YouTube challenge like this. So I'm sorry for that. That's also one of the reasons why I'm not storing my uh, entire kitchen full of Christmas items, actually. Because then I don't have any workspace left to work on, to cook, to cut things, you know. But it doesn't make me like Christmas less than you guys do, I suppose. I have a pink and silver and white Christmas theme this year. And I also am using a lot of nutcrackers, also from the Nutcracker Ballet, like Clara. And in my large Christmas tree I have the King of Rats or the Mouse King. And Mr. Drosselmeyer himself. And yeah, there are lots of Kurt Adler items in my kitchen this year. I've been to a garden center, I've been shopping Kurt Adler items for, well, let's say for Dutch then there's a treat price, so I'm very glad about it. And I can't wait to show you what I have made this year. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, just write them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And I, was, I want to thank Tracy Ann as well for hosting this cute challenge. I'm very curious about other Christmas kitchens, other Christmas tours in kitchens. So, yeah, just just let go quickly to mine and I will happy to show you around. So, okay, we're here in the kitchen today. It is in the morning, um, but unfortunately, yeah, it isn't that bright weather outside. I have put some extra lamps on. I hope I have enough light to film everything. Let's first start with my wreath. Jenny, my mother-in-law, she also hosts a challenge together with me. She made this wreath for me several years ago. And, yeah, actually I can't get rid of it, so I keep it on top of the cupboard here. This is a large storage cupboard. And I redecorate it for each season. The wooden items and the sign and also the clock are items which I don't move, but the stars and Clara and the Nutcracker are new this season. I will give you a close up of the wreath. I have a pink and a white star, very cute, fluffy items. Here is a sign with kitchen upon it. Some kitchen utensils. And here we have the Nutcracker from the Nutcracker Ballet. This is a Kurt Adler item. All right give you a close-up. I love his clothes, I love the details, his sword, all the glittering stuff, and he even has a small furry line underneath his jacket. So, I think he is really cute. Thank you, Cruella, for creating such beautiful stuff. Here is the clock, which works on batteries. And here we have Clara with a small nutcracker in her hand. I really love her dress. It's so detailed. She has a nice skirt, some point shoes on. I don't know if I can show you. She has a beautiful ribbon on the back of her head. So, that was the wreath. Now we're going to the next part, which is my Christmas tree. This tree is full of curd out or items. It's a pencil tree and I use the feather garland as a base. I will go to the bottom and then I'll work my way up. Here we have the first Adler item, this cute candy cane. I also have another one up here. They created four different of these items and I bought myself every item of it. Some plastic Christmas ornaments. A bird with a feather. Here we have a ballerina from Kurt Adler. And I also have another figure, which is more on the top. Some pine cones. And up here is another Kurt Adler ornament. Here is the other ballerina. Really love the glittering skirt. Then here, hope you can see it well, otherwise I have to take it out maybe. Here you can see there is a beautiful glittering dove, also from Kurt Adler. Mm, no, it was this way. 
And here is another card at the right item. A cute ballerina dress. And here we have the last candy cane sugary bakery Adler item. Here we have another skirt, another dove is up here, a bird, and then we come to my most expensive Christmas ornament bought in history. This angel costs only 25 euros. It's an incredible price, I know, but I'll was so beautiful in my opinion. She has beautiful wings here on her back and her you, you can move her arms around actually. Look, they stay in place no matter where you want to put them. They had several colors of this. Also a light green color which I really really yeah liked. But I don't have any green items with with a really soft green I don't have that at home, so I chose the white one that was in gold and I believe in the red, but they're all sold out now, unfortunately. So, that is my Christmas tree in the kitchen. You see I have three decorated Christmas trees out of my house, and this is one of them. I also have one in the hallway and also another one in the living room. Then we go to the microwave. I have two cute nutcrackers up here let's turn in the light they're from aliexpress they cost me i think about 10 or 12 euros each but these are i think three or four years old maybe back then there weren't actually that much christmas items available in the netherlands which were in pink so, and now I have this cute cake stand. These are also Kurt Adler items, and people who watch our channel longer know we are a big fan of Yankee Candle. So I have here the Yankee Candle North Pole scent. Some cute glittering Christmas trees. And now here comes the bakery stuff. Everything which I had from Adler and which had a pink color in it, I put it on this tree. They're actually squashy, look. Really cute. I also have some pastries back here and some cute cupcakes. Look, I love the detail of this. Hope you can see it well. You can see here, I cut the ribbon because you could hang it actually inside of your tree. But I'm a big fan of having pastries in a tray like this. Then over here now we've had the most Christmas this is the coffee station. I put myself some glittering trees. Pink ones and silver ones, one with snow. This is my coffee machine and that sign in the back there is from IKEA. Shows Italian coffee names. I also have one with ice creams upon it, but that's for the summer season. And these are my Christmas mugs. I really like them. I hope you can see Look, the stars are popping really out. It isn't an even surface. And they are from the brand Filler Rainbow. So, expensive but really beautiful. I have them several years now and I use them every time when I get in the Christmas mood. So that can also be in February. Then we have a sink. Very, very special to see. Another Christmas tree because I use this workspace here to do the dishes and to cook because here is my stove but behind the stove there is some more Christmas this lovely painting from a shop called Action with a beautiful Christmas tree upon it but safety first so when I start cooking I just turn this glass thing up and then everything stays safe while I am cooking making dinner. So this was actually my Christmas kitchen this year. Give you a nice shot of the whole kitchen. Whoa, that was a bit too far. I'm sorry for that. Actually I thought it would be a nice idea to show you a Dutch yeah, well, sweet actually from the kitchen, which we eat often at Christmas season. I am going to introduce you 
this marzipan log. It is just chocolate with marzipan in it. Marzipan, I don't know how to pronounce it actually, sorry for that. And what does it contain? Is it in English? No, it isn't in English. I have this cute log up here and I am going myself some coffee in my Christmas mug. Um, yeah, I often show this in videos how this coffee machine works. I'm going to do it again right now. Back in there you have the water container. I already have filled it with water and I'm going to put the machine on. I'm going to make some noise, I suppose, because there is a boiler inside which warms up the water. And as long as this button here is flickering, you can't use the machine. Or actually, you can. You can already push back here if you want to have one or two cups of coffee. And here you can, yeah, regulate the intensity of the um, coffee cup. Now it isn't really intense, but if you do it like so, you can make an espresso or something else. I often do this because I don't like strong coffee, to be honest. Now we have to fill, here's the pad holder with a coffee pad. I keep them in this jar so the coffee stays nice and fresh. Close the lid just like so. This is enough for one cup of coffee but I often like not that strong coffee so I put it in here then we close the lid and the machine has stopped flickering. Now I'm going to push, I think, the button for, yeah, first one cup. Oops, don't move the tree around. And let me show you how it works. Well, as you see, I used a pretty small mug, but for the example, or actually a pretty large mug for a little bit of coffee. I also have smaller mugs, but I wanted to have coffee in my Christmas mug. I'm going to add another cup. have to wait because the light is flickering. After it stopped flickering, the, boiler, the water in the boiler has had enough for an extra cup. And you can see the water descending back there when the coffee is flourishing out of the machine. Hope you can see it like so. There it goes. You see the water level is going down right now. And I'm getting some extra coffee. And it's done. Now I start to, uh, I'll leave it the leaking out. And I am going to cut this marsupial log. I can't do it with one hand, so I'll unwrap the marzipan and then I'm going to cut it off camera. Just like so. This is the marzipan log covered in chocolate. I'm going to cut several small pieces and I'm going to serve that with a little bit of coffee for you guys. So I'll be back in a few seconds. So I'm done cutting. This is how it looks from the inside. And over here I have some small pieces because Actually, you can get um, a quite full feeling after eating just three of those pieces. Well, I'm going to turn the coffee machine off. And then you open the valve and the lid, actually. This is a used coffee pot, you can just throw it away. Now I'm having... Let those drops come off, yes. A nice... Christmassy treat to enjoy myself. So now I'm really done filming. I hope you enjoyed what I made. If you have any questions, I said it again in the beginning. Please write them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I hope yeah to see you all back in our next videos. Thank you for watching and bye!